Dhaka hostage crisis is over. Bangladeshi security forces have rescued 13 hostages held by Islamic State terrorists. 20 civilians, including one Indian and six terrorists, have been killed in the hostage siege at a restaurant in Dhaka's high security diplomatic area. One terrorist has been captured alive. Two police personnel have also been killed in the gun battle with terrorists. Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said she is determined to eradicate terrorism in the country. Addressing a gathering in Dhaka today, she praised the role of the security officials for saving many lives. She, however, regretted that all the hostages could not be saved. After terror struck the Holy Artisan Cafe at Dhaka's diplomatic area, India has called for quick adoption of the long-awaited Comprehensive Convention on International Terrorism in UN General Assembly. Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh today offered prayers at the Amarnath Cave Shrine on the first day of the annual pilgrimage. He also paid obeisance at Hazrat Bal Shrine in Srinagar. During his two-day visit to Jammu and Kashmir, Rajnath Singh had reviewed overall security scenario in the state at a high-level meeting yesterday. In Uttarakhand, relief and rescue operation is going on at war footing in the villages following heavy rains and cloud bursts as death toll mounts to 16, while 17 others are still trapped under the debris. Rescue and relief operations continue. Personnel of SDRF, Army, ITBP, SSB and the state police are engaged in rescue operations. All schools and educational institutions in the state remain closed today. In Arunachal Pradesh, five more dead bodies were recovered today morning by the rescue team comprising of ITBP personnel. With this, the death toll in Palukpong cloudburst has reached to nine. One person has been retrieved alive. The joint rescue operations have ended. India is ready to discuss every issue with Pakistan in an atmosphere free from terror and violence. MEA spokesperson Vikas Swaroop has said, all the evidence relating to 2611 Mumbai terror attack case has already been provided to Islamabad for expeditious trial. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be on a five-day visit to Mozambique, South Africa, Tanzania and Kenya from 7 July. On the first leg of his tour, PM will visit Mozambique, where he will have bilateral discussions with President Philip Nussi to strengthen ties between the two nations. Government plans to provide green canopy on the national highways under the National Green Highways Mission. Union Road Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari has said, Plantation Drive on 1 lakh kilometres of highways will prove to be a game-changer for rural economy. Republicans in the U.S. House of Representatives introduced a measure intended to prevent gun sales to people on government watch lists, only to draw demands from Democrats for stronger proposals and a warning of possible new protests. The gun provisions were tucked into a bill aimed at stepping up efforts against terrorism, including what the legislation referred to as radical Islamist terrorism. Up to 116 civilians were killed in a controversial drone and air strikes by the U.S. outside conflict zones like Afghanistan and Iraq from 2009 to 2015, according to figures released by Director of National Intelligence. In China, at least 26 people were killed when a bus veered out of an expressway and fell into a ditch due to flat tyre in Tianjin City. The accident occurred when the driver of bus carrying 30 people lost control of the vehicle due to flat tyre. The accident occurred days after a bus burst into flames in China's Hunan province, killing 53 people. Austria's highest court has annulled the result of the presidential election, narrowly lost by the candidate of the far-right Freedom Party. The party had challenged the result, saying that the postal votes had been illegally and improperly handled. Wales produced a stunning upset to reach the Euro 2016 semi-finals after the Hal Robson Canoe's superbly fashioned goal and Sam Boke's late header secured a 3-1 victory over fancy Belgium to set up a clash with Portugal. Tonight, world champions Germany will take on Italy in the third quarter-final. The Indian men's hockey team will take on Argentina in its penultimate game of the Six Nation Invitational Tournament at Valencia in Spain. Of the three games played so far, India has lost two and won one. The victory came against Ireland, while they lost to Germany and New Zealand.